How's it going? Thursday night again. It's funny how quickly they roll around. Tonight we're uh, back on In Death Unchained, working on Paradise Lost 4. We're sitting on 1.8 mil, working on our season run. Uh, I did just have a personal best on my fun run. Uh, hopefully we can match that on this one. But I don't want to give away the uh, what, how I'm doing over there. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, do as well here. In the meantime, let's get on with it. All right, here we go. Main goal is to get through here. Uh, if we are upwards of two mil, we'll be well ahead of the game. Uh, basically with our desire to do about half a mil per cycle. You know, if we hit two mil here, that gives us uh, all of, all of, uh, whew, okay. Uh, the abyss as, as bonus. Okay. So we've got a couple of, We've got a couple of cupids right there. We've got monks down below. I'm a little nervous about coming in or even firing at that without alerting all that. They'll all be shooting at us. I think I want to go over to that platform over there and approach from, from there. I think that's going to be our best best bet. I may make the platform. Yep. Hi. And I don't have any damage. What errors am I using? I've got about a third of a quiver of uh, Cat 5, two thirds of a quiver of Tempest, most mostly full uh, Winter's Bite and a full Wrath. So that's good. Again, try real hard not to miss because I don't want to alert everything behind her. All right, let's start taking out stuff now that's We're going to get her to come up here. Okay. Now, we're going to go down just to make sure we get everybody. Right. And I thought there was one more guy hanging out down here. Okay, good. All right, well, keep working our way through here. That's our, uh, maybe that's our thumbnail. All right. What we don't want to do is get everything over there shooting at us because we'll get trapped in this corner. It'll take us a while to get out of it. So let's just uh, start picking people apart here. All right, let's go across. This is a much better place to be because when they come down, you've got uh, all of that blank space behind it. So if you miss, you don't alert everybody. We're in pretty good shape here. I get that long distance headshot. Uh, nope. Also remember, if we do take any damage. It's only single point damage right now. There we go. It's a high score. High scoring shot there. There we go. Alright, so let's take out that Cupid over there. That's a barrage of needles. Right, no big deal. Um, we're going to jump across and kind of poke our head in there. And we may come back over here depending on who all is over here. Nope, no big deal. All right. Good 
We didn't alert anybody to our presence, so we're going to keep moving on. So I saw him out of the corner of my eye as I popped up here. Now, in case there's anybody up here, I'm just going to fire an arrow, get them to come down here. Drop it, you know, right between those two columns. I know there's another witch there. All right, we're just gonna go on up. Got stuck on the wall there. It looks like. Trouble getting the range of that guy for some reason. One of the interesting things about the cupids, you know, they're different sizes, and oftentimes it's, it's a little bit hard to tell based on their size exactly where they are located. All right, so. Three cupids. Another one. We've got a, a knight there. We'll wait for him. I'm going to shoot this guy from over here. Main reason being is because if I was shooting him from over here, if I missed, Sounded like it was behind me. And I didn't want to be staying there. Okay, so look, this is a pretty interesting area. You can have lots of stuff in that hallway, and you get lots of stuff in the hallway up here. When you jump up there, all those folks get alerted and they start attacking. And you go inside there, and you got guys rushing at you. So this is an extremely dangerous transition here. What I will tend to do often is start pulling stuff from up there down to here. Bring out those mobs before I go up. Oftentimes the monks end up down there on that bridge over there. The witch is right there. It's very hesitant to come down. Just going across then if she's gonna be so that platform's pretty well cleared. She's firing the little Come on down. There we go. All right, so that just saved us a whole bunch of trouble. Since this hallway's mostly clear, we can use it as our safe place to deal with those guys now. Oh, need to 
decided to go all the way up there. We're just going to lie to sight him and see what, what happens. Interesting, he really felt locked to that building. As did he. Alright, we're just going to get in a safe place here. I want to be careful and not miss because I didn't want to let all those folks over there know we were here. All right, I think we're good to move on. Oh my God, that was a great headshot, if I would say so myself. You know I have a monk. Here somewhere. Yeah. Something just fired at me, that guy. No. And I suspect there's something up here too. Often there is. I don't know how do you miss a headshot that close? Just don't know. So it's that guy. We'll just move Mosey on over while. Give him a shield bash while, while we're at it. Okay, good. All right, that's the first half done. Let's go and see what we got in the shop. Hmm. Well, it's the only thing that might be interesting just in case we take damage. And remember, we've got two bloods back there. Okay. Let's see if we can't take these guys out. Not alerting too many. Things like the orphan, which I do believe I have already alerted. Which is bad. She's alerted and she's at the top. I would really like to know that. Can I get it all the way up there? The orphan often tends to be in this big open space. Is she here? I don't see her. All right, that was fun. We'll just wait for these folks to come up to us here. So that was super risky, but I, like I said, I was pretty sure I had alerted the orphan. We're gonna miss her, she's already gone. Typically, in this zone, I'll jump up to this balcony and work my way in from here. Mainly because I like to, I like to work on that open courtyard down there from above. second floor now. Okay. Let's make it hairy here. Okay, so you can shield and go through those. Body shot to keep her from firing. And then burn her down. So yeah, when... when I'm on the same level as a witch and she's firing a ball. I will put my shield up and shard right through them and the shield will block it. And once you pass 
them. Whoops, barely saw that hatchet coming just in time. And once you uh, once you pass them, they're past you. They're going the other way. They're no longer a threat. I got a cute bit over there. A couple of, couple of knights there. floor may be done. We're going to peek around here because we've got this outer balcony. Yeah, we got this guy. Somebody to my right. Another red knight. Okay. That's the ground deck is done. We're good here. Let's... Whoa. Anybody want a Cupid? There's a bunch of them. Three more up there. Basically just shot straight up on that one. I think we got two more over there. for this deck. This deck's clear. Next deck is to go up. We're gonna go up over here though. Uh, see what we find. It's very likely that a lot of the stuff that's up here is we've already dealt with. Oh. Or not. Let's go upstairs. Let's make sure. Make sure all the cupids are clear. We can actually take these guys out from above. Now, there's a witch who just saw us. She's over there. I think we're... Being very, very risky here. But we're using the buildings as our shields. Drawing a bow. that big courtyard yet we're going to go on upstairs first we can uh, uh, deal with the courtyard from above what we want to just make sure is we don't have any cupids right here in our face and we can just anything that shows up we can deal with but wanted to make sure that we're handling stuff in front of us for nothing having stuff over our shoulders doing bad things to us that witch over there just fired at us, so we'll just... And there's another knife. Oop! A body shot at her. This knight will just... Hi! Standing there. Were you in the timeout corner? You a bad knight? have so we we again did not get the did not get the orphan here okay and another blood oh. sneaky Mr. Red Knight I wanted to do him out here because 
there's a, at least one cupid in there. And I don't want to be dealing with incoming arrows from things I can't really figure out where they are. While I've got a red knight bearing down on me. So here we have him. Yeah, that, he was the only one, but I just I don't want to take that risk, you know. All right, we'll take one more quick look in the shop, then we'll finish off Gabriel, and we will be done for this week. Nothing that I want. All right. So, Gabriel. Um, on this level, pretty quick, less than a 10-second fight. We're going to jump in there. We're going to get right up under his face. We're going to, as soon as he activates, we're going to hit him in the face with a winner's bite. We're going to load him up with Cat 5s, and when he leaves the island and stops, we're going to... Pepper him with Tempest headshots, and he'll be dead very, very quickly. Ready. Now, when I hit him, Oops. I'm going to immediately hit slow-mo. All right, well, there's my tempest. That. Not as smooth as normal. But we didn't take any damage, so that's the important thing. 1.89. So just at, right at 1.9 so we got about 80,000 missing that orphan hurt our score a lot on there uh and so we'll be definitely beating the two million mark uh, on the next episode arrows look pretty good we took no damage that was a pretty smooth run we don't need any, any of these arrows so we're gonna move on All right. Oh, where are you? There you are. All right, that's it for this week. So we'll see you again next Thursday. We'll be on Abyss 4, continuing our seasonal run. Thanks, as always, for sharing this time with me. And thanks for the new subs. Appreciate it very, very much. All right, guys, have a good one. Happy hunting.